Are you lucky we spotted the mix-up in time? I know I should have said have something, but... any idea how serious your sister's condition is? Dr Winters, I think that's enough. Uh, can I have a word? You know, sometimes it's easy to forget what she's been through, but when you see her like that... Too right, mate. You should have seen her this time last year. Oh, yeah? I probably shouldn't have told him, but I seemed so lost. Told him what? I told him his mum was in a happy place and that she'd be waiting for him one day. I never thought Why that... on earth would you tell him that? That's what I do, darling. I help people communicate with the other side. You're a sceptic. Doctors usually are. You only trust cold, hard evidence. You don't want to believe the future's already mapped out. I think you should leave now. Are you all right, love? Yes, I'm fine. fine. No, you're not, are you? You're in real pain, you poor man. Get off me, please. Maybe you should sit down. Get off me, woman! Would you get this woman away from me, please? What are you all staring at? Uh, Miss Jordan, let's, uh, let's get you something for that me, Gray. Back to work, everyone. I'm here to see my son, Joel Baird. Joel Baird, I'll just look him up. Thank you. I think you should go home. I need to know I've left this place in safe hands. Well, then you want to talk to Dr. Hannah? I don't think so, not under the circumstances. Look, I'm sorry, Nick, I can't help you, OK? Why not? Because I don't know where I'm going to be next week, let alone next month. Jessica's taken Harry to Saudi, and, and I have no idea where they are. You're not going to tell the police, are you? I'm a doctor. I'm not here to make judgments. I was ready to pass my test, I promise you. If I hadn't have had a fit this morning. Have you told the DVLA? So you'd get behind the wheel again, even though you could fit at any moment? You'll be taken through to cubicles shortly, and then I'll come and get you for your CT, OK? Amanda. It's nothing. I'm fine. But your head. You know what hospitals are like. Tend to be overcautious. It's nothing serious. You know she's right. We should have told the DVLA. No one knows about this. Only the doctor. And she's not going to say anything. You heard her. Well, I think we should tell the truth. Are you crazy? It's the right thing to do. No. No, Manda, it isn't. We just need to get you out of here and pretend none of this ever happened. OK, thanks. Bye. But he's not going to be able to cover it up for long, is he? Mm. Does he really think no-one would notice the... Mm. You know what? Mr Jordan has a headache because he works incredibly hard in an extremely pressurised job. Perhaps you lot should follow his example and actually do some work instead of standing around gossiping all day. Whoa. Well, I've finished my shift, actually. Oh, you have to keep the streets of Farmead safe. A mark has got to do what a mark has got to do. Who does this really benefit, Adam? Right. Listen, I realise I might have been a bit petty earlier. I'm not one to hold a grudge, and I can see how much this means to you, so... So? So if you need Dr Fordron to make one last appearance, I'm happy to step up. Just tell me what you want me to say. Zoe. Go talk. This is the busiest day of the week for me. Hello. I had to turn down an airport fare to come here. Look, I'm sorry I told him not to call you. What's all this even about? Doesn't matter. Well, the doctor said they were thinking of sending a shrink down to see you. What do you need a shrink for? And anyway, why weren't you in school? I had to be somewhere. Where? Where? Joel, I want you to tell me the truth. What were you doing this morning? I was talking to Mum. I'm not going to be a fallback position, Nick. Sorry. Adam's told me about your arrangement. I should have realised sooner. I mean, you've, 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 you've been clinical lead. You're more than capable of running this place. Don't patronise me, Nick. Zoe. So what's your plan? No, oh, let me guess, let me guess. You've been offered some exciting clinical work in Zurich, or London, or perhaps Rome. 
You'll be gone for a while while you're having your chemo and then you'll be back and the lying will begin all over again. I wouldn't call it lying. Oh, no? What would you call it? I'm clinical lead. People look up to me. You know who you are? You're the Wizard of Oz. You want everyone here to see you as this all-powerful figure when really you're just a scared bloke behind a curtain cranking levers. We're talking colleagues here, nothing more. Oh, and I suppose that means that they are not to have any personal feelings for you whatsoever. My personal health is none of their concern. At the very least, they deserve an explanation, Nick. Sorry, I'm not going to help you propagate this lie. If I believed you were man enough to tell everyone the truth, or if you were genuinely capable of handing over responsibility to someone else, then, then maybe things would be different. Sorry. But they're not. I wanted to give the poor kid hope. Is that such a bad thing? And if he'd had anyone else to talk to, he wouldn't have come to me, would he? Are you trying to tell me how to raise my son? Heaven forbid. You're obviously doing a great job. Well, oh, listen, I'm not peddling lies to kids. I helped Joel commune with your late wife's spirit. I know that might not be easy for you to hear. You're lying. You're entitled to your opinion. It's not my opinion. I know for a fact you're lying. Oh, really? And how can you be so absolutely certain? Because Claire's not dead. You need to speak to your son. Sarah Evans. Miss Evans, this is Jay Faldron. Oh, Dr. Faldron. Thanks for calling. I'm sorry it took a while to get back to you. I think Ruth told you I'm about to catch a flight to Iran. Uh, yes, she did. Uh, will you be away for long? Yes, I'll be leading a team at the Ghormis Sabzi Clinic in Tehran. I'll be there for at least eight months, possibly longer. Oh, um, well, I'd better get straight to the point. Um, <clears throat> when we met, you mentioned that you might know some interesting avenues of funding. Yes, indeed. I'm afraid I can't give you good news on that front. I made a few calls on your behalf, and it seems that in the current climate, no one has any money to invest in anything, even life-saving equipment, more's the pity. Oh, well, that is a shame. Um, well, thanks for asking, anyway. Honestly, it was no trouble. I also wanted to say, Ruth Winters... <laughs> I mean, I know I'm biased, but... She's a brilliant doctor. I think you're lucky to have her. Yes, I think I am too. I think she'll be a great asset to my surgical team. It's been a pleasure talking to you, Dr. Forden. Likewise. What was the name of that clinic? Khorme <laughs> Sabzi. It's kind of a herb stew my nan makes. It's well tasty. I'll, uh, I'll catch you up. Mr. Jordan. Dr. Winters. Just came out for a bit of air. A bit hot in there today. I know what's going on. I, I don't know how I can begin to explain this to you, Joe. Just please believe me when I tell you I did it to protect you. The truth is, your mum didn't die. When you were two and a half, she packed up and left. There was someone else. No, you're lying. I'm sorry, mate. She realised she'd made a mistake, that she wasn't qualified for being a mother. Why are you telling me this? I should have told you. I know. It was stupid. I thought... It'd be better for you to have a mum who loved you and couldn't be with you anymore than... Truth. Just get out. Leave me alone. Okay, just get out. My father always swore he could handle his drink. But that's because he could never remember the things he'd said. The things he'd done. I can assure you that one or two nights of overdoing it does not make me an alcoholic. The side effects? The slurring, the shaky hands. You can explain it all, I bet. Well... Like this morning when I asked you about the cut on your head. You paused. Now, someone else might not have noticed it, but I did. Why are you telling me all this? Because I want you to get help. Thank you, Dr. Winters. How are you doing? I'm fine. Um, just waiting for a scan. You? They're sending me home. 
You must have thought I was incredibly stupid. I'm sure you had a good laugh at my expense. No, not at all, 